Hi everyone, it's Kate with Follow My Leaf and today I just wanted to show you a couple of things I'm doing to get my plants ready for fall and to prevent pests. So if you're in a northern climate or almost anywhere besides Florida or southern Texas, you probably are br bringing your plants inside for the winter. This is an example. <laughs> These are some other outdoor plants I brought in. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did sprinkle these with my systemic pesticide. It's called Bonide Systemic Granules, and this kills everything in the soil and will be taken up by the plants in case anything chews on the plant also. In case I'm bringing in anything like thrips or spider mites, dun dun dun. I bought a lot of plants recently, so I was looking up and saying, oh, I need to water some of my plants. And before you water, you need to add your pesticide. Um, this is imidacloprid, so this is good for um, fungus gnat eggs in the soil and thrips and leaf miners. Um, Unfortunately, it's not great for spider mites because supposedly it makes it easier for them to reproduce. So if you have plants that you're worried about spider mites or you have had spider mites in the past, I would avoid using this and use a miticide instead like Azimax. Um, there are others too. But because I brought home a lot of new plants lately and Yesterday I saw a couple of little black bugs, like one tiny one crawled on me and I killed it. And then a little one that like, I've never seen thrips in person, but it looked like it was a black bug with wings. And I imagined it's what a thrip would look like, but it was a little bigger than I, it was like, it was more the size of a really small ant with wings, so I don't know if that's how big thrips get, but I am trying, you know, you try not to freak out, so what I'm doing to ease my mind is just treating all of my plants as a preventative with the systemic granules. That way, if thrips do break out, I have some protection. The plants will have taken up the pesticide into their tissue and if bugs eat it or burrow in it or whatever, it should kill them. So I pour some of these granules into a dish and I have a little plastic spoon and I've just gone through and dust the top layer of each plant wherever I'm watering, especially wherever I water with this, um, with these granules. And then I kinda just tuck it into the soil um, I already did this, this guy. Uh, again, this is an outside plant, so I already treated this outdoors before I brought it in. So if you have a chance to do that, I do recommend doing that. I kind of feel bad because I know that pill bugs and, you know, there are beneficial insects in the soil. And so you are killing those off when you do this. But when you have a big plant collection, indoors it's just not in my opinion worth the risk to not treat the soil um, my ansonia is an indoor plant just gonna and like cooking I don't measure anything I just eyeball it and I'm not the best at fertilizing like I do it when I remember and I've done it a couple times this year with liquid fertilizer when I water. This is a new plant from somebody that was outdoors. Um, but I might buy some, my plan is to buy some um, fertilizer slow release beads and put them on the top of the soil. I know I'm not supposed to do that in fall, but I feel like I've neglected everyone. So what do you think? It's October 1st and I don't know. I feel like if you're hungry, you're hungry, you know? Maybe one last fertilizer before, fertilizing before winter. 
I'm in central Illinois, and the sun sets by 7 o'clock at night now, so we are getting lower light, but um, I, for my birthday, my husband installed these LEDs. They're the brightest ones we could get. And I think my plants are responding to them. I know they're far away, but I figure it's better than nothing, right? Otherwise, all I have is this south-facing window and these west windows, which are, you know, great, but overall this room is kind of dark without the supplemental lighting. Okay, this is a new plant you may have seen in my video. <laughs> uh, my little helper. He's like, put on the cartoons, Mom. This is boring. Uh. High five. I was saying, I got this plant to put in my bathroom, which is lower light. Uh, I know fiddle leaves need higher light, so I'll take that out. We'll see how it does. But anyway, treat your plants with systemic if you don't have beneficial insects, you know, and if you have access to it, which is the United States. And if you don't mind killing off the flora and fauna in your soil, which some people will not want to do. Uh, for me, it's really peace of mind to know that if I get thrips on a plant, at least that plant and others should have some protection against a full-blown outbreak. And when you treat the plants with the systemic um, I guess it takes a couple of weeks after you water to absorb for the plant to uptake ah. it into its tissue. So keep that in mind. It's not going to be an instant kill if you have an infestation. It's more, to me, it's a preventative and then it can help treat problems that you're having. So I have a lot to go. I'm going to leave the alocasias without. I already treated them but with a spray because they are spider mite prone. I hope this was helpful. If you liked this content and want to see more, please do give it a like. Subscribes are always welcome and we'll see you next time. Thanks and happy planting!